The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the first book of Kings. But after a while, the stream dried up, for the country had no rain. And then the word of Yahweh came to him. Up and go to Zarephath in Sidonia and stay there. I've ordered a widow there to give you food. So he went off to Sidon. And when he reached the city gate, there was a widow gathering sticks. Addressing her, he said, please bring a little water and a pitcher for me to drink. She was on her way to fetch it when he called after her. Please, he said, bring me a scrap of bread in your hand. As Yahweh your God lives, she replied, I have no baked bread, but only a handful of meal in a jar and a little oil in a jug. I am just gathering a stick or two to go and prepare this for myself and my son to eat, and then we shall die. Go get it and bring it to me, and then make some for yourself and for your son, Elijah said. For Yahweh, God of Israel, says this, the jar of meal shall not be spent, the jug of oil shall not be emptied before the day when Yahweh sends rain on the face of the earth. So the woman went and did as Elijah told her, and they ate the food, she, himself, and her son. The jar of meal was not spent, nor the jug of oil emptied, just as Yahweh had foretold through Elijah. And our responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 4. Children of men, how long will you be heavy of heart? Why love what is vain and chase after illusions? Realize that Yahweh performs wonders for his faithful. Yahweh listens when I call to him. Be careful not to sin. Speak in your hearts and on your beds, keep silence. Loyally offer sacrifices and trust in Yahweh. To my heart, you are a richer joy than all their corn and new wine. In peace, I lie down and at once fall asleep. For it is you and none other Yahweh who makes me to rest secure. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. And Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, what can make it salty again? It is good for nothing and can only be thrown out to be trampled under people's feet. You are light for the world. A city built on a hilltop cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp to put it under a tub. They put it on the lampstand where it shines for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must shine in people's sight so that seeing your good works, they may give praise to your Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord.